Hello, my name is Adam Sadagar and welcome to the fifth episode of Subbot API Tutorials. In this episode, we will learn what is console command, how to use core console commands, and how to create console command. So, what is console command? Commands that can be entered in the console are called console command. It is used to execute custom functions with or without arguments. So basically you can execute any code snippets during the execution of the bot at any time you want. So how to use core console commands? So let's find out. I execute the bot to get the interface to write the console commands. So when you see there is greater than sign, you can type in the commands. Type help to get the list of all the console commands available. Let's see how to use the run command for now. So we type help space run. Run command is used to run feature commands which is used in the bot from the console. So as you can see in the usage, first we type in the run then the group id of the group we want to run the command in then the command you want to run and its arguments let's check out what role is assigned when we use the run command from the console so we type run group one role as you can see our role is super admin which is above admin privileges you can use it to promote someone to admin or even demote the admin as we will see and you can even run feature commands which aren't added in the group using run command. So let's test it. I'll remove the joke feature then try to run it from my phone as a client. Then I'll try to run it again from the console command with the run command. So we remove the joke feature. Now I'll try to run tell a joke command from my phone. And as expected it doesn't work. Now I'll try it from the console. And it works perfectly. Now let's try demoting an admin. Let's see what my role is. As you can see, I'm a co-admin. Let's promote me. And now I'm an admin and now let's try demoting me and it works perfectly nice so how to create your own console command there are three steps first create a class and extend it with console command second implement its extract method and constructor Third, add it to the bot using bot.getconsole.getconsolecommandmanager.add method in the main class. So let's see the abstract methods and constructor of the console command. The constructor of the console command takes two parameters, keyword and number of arguments. Keyword is the string you want to use to run the console command. Number of arguments is simply the number of arguments you want to use the console command. You can assign it a value of minus one if you want to use variable number of arguments. Compute method is executed when you use a command in the console. Its parameter arguments contains the arguments passed in the con command in the console. Get helper method is used to create a usage helper for the help command. In this method, you have to return a helper object which has three attributes. Template, example, and a description of the console command you are making. So what we will make today? We will make a broadcast console command which can be used to send message to all the groups in the bot simultaneously. So let's start coding. So first we create a class. We'll name it broadcast cc cc for console command we'll extend it with console command and we'll implement all its abstract methods and uh, its constructor we won't need this argument so we'll just erase it 
so the keyword we will make is will be broadcast and the number of arguments will be one which will be the message we want to send so in the compute method basically we will have to get all the chat groups then we will loop through it and send the message from the argument so we will get the chat group using the bot object so the bot dot get chat group manager dot get or get chat group list and we will just have to create an action and add it in the action manager the action will be send message action as we want to send the message and we will just return something saying uh, broadcast initiated in the helper get helper method we will just return a helper object with the template example and a description as I said before so the console command is ready now let's just add it into the bot I'll just uh, correct this typo over here it's strange it's not showing let's let me just copy paste it and here we go now let's add, just add it into the bot in the main class we'll write bot dot get console oops let me fix that bot dot get console dot get console command manager dot add yeah and we'll just uh, pass in uh, an object of the console command we just made that's it now let's try it out so as we want to uh, try the broadcast command I added two more groups let's just add it into the bot and they are added now let's try out the broadcast command let's see the usage of the broadcast command we made as you can see it displays it perfectly now let's broadcast a message saying something like yo this is a broadcast <laughs> and as soon as I type it and press enter it starts sending the messages and it works perfectly let's try it again using a different message and again it works perfectly so thanks for watching people so this time there's no exercise you can try this out yourself if you want if you have any problem you can contact me on discord or comment below and i'll see you guys later